Hey, howdy, welcome back guys. It's been a little bit. Um, today we're going to be looking at Makeup Geek. Okay, if you can't tell by the title. However, if this is your first time visiting here, feel free to reach down and hit like. If this is not your first time visiting here, feel free to reach down and hit subscribe, then like. Either or, whatever makes you feel comfortable. Now, I wandered across Makeup Geek, Geek, blah, 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 Geek on Facebook, actually, I think. I had never heard of the company. I was a little surprised I'd never heard of the company. So I'm perusing their sites. You know, I'm always on the lookout for something a little new, a little different, looking for sometimes a look cheaper per version of something. And I ordered this a couple days before I ordered the Mel Cosmetics Smoke Session. But I ordered it, I ordered two, two quads. I got one in the mail, and I emphasize one. I ended up opening it up and going, where's the other one? There's only one in here. So I got hold of Makeup Geek and they were flipping amazing with their customer service, okay? I'm like, oh, you guys only sent me one in order to. The speed with which they responded to my, like me getting a hold of them and corrected the issue was less than an hour. Now, this is compared to Melt Cosmetics, it took like three, four days. And they just, they were not interested in helping at all. Makeup Geek, on the other hand, turned around and said, oh, nope, you're right, you're 100% right. You ordered two and we only sent you one, sent us a picture showing, you know, what you got. And then they were real quick, like I said, in an hour they had the whole thing fixed, already had another order drawn up, and were already listing it as ship it. I was, I was blown away by their customer service. They were amazing. Like, I was going, and this is in comparison to Melt Cosmetics. And these, the original package for this and the Melt Cosmetics arrived at like the same time. And the difference in customer service was just a mind blow. Because Melt Cosmetics is charging what, like 50 bucks a palette. Whereas Makeup Geek, I believe, is charging 14 for their quad. And your first order, you get a discount if you sign up your email address, which I did. So I was like... You gotta be kidding me. This is a huge difference in customer service, and it's definitely a smaller company. Like, not a streamline. Now, when the quads arrive, I, I finally got the second one in. I'm gonna show you how the quads arrive. I'm gonna show you both quads, but I'm gonna show you how these arrive. And they're like this. And each color in the quad comes in one of these little envelopes. And the quad itself is this. And these are magnetic, so you're actually loading this yourself. Which I honestly have never gotten something like this before. I know, maybe I live in the dark, maybe I live in the Stone Ages, but all the palettes I've ever ordered or quads came preloaded. You couldn't take them out, you couldn't do anything with them. This one, they let you pick your own colors or they have already made up quads. And in my case, I picked two already made up quads. Mother Nurture and the other one was, hold on, where is it? All of you mini palettes, so all of you. The colors in this are Enchanted Forward, Forest, Illuminati, emphasis on Nadi, uh, Latte as usual, and all of you, which is an olive green. And what you do is you basically open these little packages. Oh, in case anybody's curious, these are a cruelty-free brand. I forgot to let you guys know that it is cruelty-free. These are done out of Michigan. Did not know that. And what I'm reading on the back of these is first ingredients in them are mica, not talc. So we're cruelty-free. And it looks like I'm not seeing any talc on these. So anyway, we're open the package. You get this. I'm trying to show you guys as I open it. There is our eyeshadow. And then, see look on the back, it actually lists the colors. So if you want to reorder just one of the colors or whatever, totally doable. Magnetic. This is awesome. I think part of why I'm so excited for this is because I've never had a quad like this. I've never had one that you could do this to. 
Everything's already come pre-done. Like Pat McGrath, you don't pop out them out. Charlotte Silver, you don't pop those out. Tom Ford, you don't pop those out. Ah! Nope, we're good. We're still good. So I am actually really, I, I haven't even tried these out yet. I'm kind of super psyched. Luminati. It looks like a metallics one. And there's our ooh, there's our last one, Enchanted Forest. All four are put in. And there we go. All of you mini. And actually, this is going to sound weird. This is a little bit more what I was kind of hoping for with the Charlotte Tilbury when they reimagined re things. Like this feels like a blending of the Rebel and the Rebel reimagined in a way that I would have liked. Let's try it out. I haven't actually tried out any of these yet because I wanted to show you guys. Oh my. Most of these are mats. I'm a mats kind of girl. Oh, look at the pigments. Ooh, ooh. Oh, that's my olive green. That is a metallic definite. Wow. <laughs> Guys, 14 something for a quad and these are not small. Oh, not small. Amounts. These are these are amazingly good amount, and what I'm seeing, a decent color too. So let's try these on. Let's try this one on. And I think I'm going to do each one of these quads as its own video, just cause, cause I can. This is my Too Faced Shadow Insurance. I love this stuff. It makes applying eyeshadow so much easier. What primer are you guys using? Am I the only one still uses Too Faced? I don't think I am. I can't be. Let's see what we can come up with on this. Now looking at this, this is so dark it almost looks black. When I'm looking at it in the pan, I think it might be a deep, deep green. Let's try it out and find out. If I am looking off camera throughout this, I do apologize. I am applying my makeup in a mirror because sometimes it's a little easier for me to track visibly, like with my eyes. Okay, let's see what we can do. You know what, let's start off with the brown. That applies really smoothly. Ooh. And I'm not really seeing a lot of fallout yet. That's nice. I'm in the mood for Chinese food tonight. I don't know why. I think it's because I really want to go to a buffet we have the next town over. But I don't think the buffet's open yet because of COVID. Okay, we put on our brown. That went on easy enough. That looks pretty good too. Let's try. Let's 
Try the metallic. Let's see how well that applies or if I'm going to have to use my finger for the metallics. No, I don't need a finger. Nice to know. Ooh. I'm a little surprised this is going on with a brush this well. I've run into this problem with a couple different brands where the metallics don't want to manipulate with a brush. They want a finger. And that drives me nuts. I'm glad I can put this on with a brush. is ooh Let's maybe get our finger involved a little bit just for blending at the cross section line okay Okay, you can see what they're aiming for with this. Let's just add a little bit more brown to the eyelid. Just for blending purposes. There we go. Okay. Let's pull out this green, see what we can accomplish. Ooh. -hoo -hoo. I like that. Oh my god, I did not expect that to go on that well. It's gonna have to be some blending, clearly. That's okay. Okay. Let's get the blending brush out. We need to blend and we need to blend hard. Okay. What are you guys doing since we are still limiting some of the things we can do during COVID? Like, I like the way it looks in this mirror. I like the way it looks here. It seems darker. Like, I don't know. What do you guys think? You know what? Let's try out our darkest shade. Because over here, it just seems really soft and really pretty. And in this camera, it seems so harsh and glaring. And I'm looking at it thinking, which way do people see that? Because these colors are freaking amazing. And I'm not sure I would use actually all four in the future. I would probably only use two. Probably like the brown, a little bit of the green. Or... Like the gold with the green. Anything with the green. And this is our darkest color. Uh, 
I am not great at applying this like this, but I think today that is what's called for. Okay, yeah, when I'm looking at this in the side mirror, this is definitely a shade of green. It's so dark, it looks almost black, but this is definitely a shade of green. I feel like this is where the Charlotte Tilbury colors should have gone to when they reimagined things. Oh my goodness, that's good I thought. These colors pop green eyes hard. Holy crap, or at least the yellow in my green eyes. Okay, what am I seeing? I'm seeing fallout. I'm definitely seeing fallout. That does happen with pressed powders. It's not that bad a fallout though. Uh, a lot of it seems to be the metallic and the dark color, but the way I was applying the dark color with the that one brush is an eyeliner. That's almost to be expected. It's going to happen. This is why the eyeshadow is the first thing I do every day before I get makeup on, is the eyeshadow. Let's stand up and look at this up close. It's late. I'm weirdly awake and perky and all adrenaline. I'm loving this color and this color, weirdly enough, loving it. And it's not just because it's cool and magnetic. Hold on, apparently I hit it with my hand just hard enough to dislodge a magnet. There we go. Oh good, it's all good. Let's take a look, see, standing up. Slightly different lighting. Ooh, I like that. Next time, like I said, I probably won't use all four colors. I just wanted to show what they all look like on the eyelid. Probably only do two while I'm wearing this, but I am liking the way this makes my eyes look. Okay. What do you guys think? Has anybody else here tried Makeup Geek? I can't be the only one who stumbled across it. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you've ever tried it. Um, like I said, you can customize, you can actually order and customize your own colors and your own quads or a full palette. It's up to you. It's a very flexible company and I do, I actually did enjoy dealing with them. So that's nice, nice change. So let me know what you guys think. Leave comments down below. Let me know if you've ever tried them or if uh, you've tried another company like them. I am always curious. Okay guys, that's it for this episode. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you've tried the company. Most of all, remember, be safe. We are still in the middle of a pandemic. Wash your hands, wear a mask, social distancing. And remember, your essential workers are trying, so please have a little patience with them. Thanks, have a good night, and let me know what you think.